I like pretty shiny things. It's called mixed emotions, and yeah, I have I have tons of mixed emotions about that. Hello, my amazing YouTube family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I <laughs> found a couple of boxes that are quite old. I don't know if they are from my old apartment. Do not laugh. All right, no. I mean, go ahead, laugh, because it, it is quite absurd, and I think it probably deserves a laugh. But somehow, I found this. Now, I had two of them. One of them that I opened was one of the videos that got deleted with that whole debacle with my Winnie Cat and my computer, but I still have this one. I do not know when this is from. Somehow, I must have skipped the box instead of canceling. It is now canceled, of course. Still haven't gotten any of my referral code uh, bonus things, whatever I was supposed to get. That's besides the point. This is the American Influencer Beauty Bundle Box Bundle. Yeah, they call it a bundle whatever. I really, really liked this box. I really, really disliked their customer service, but again, I had to cancel boxes, so I don't know when this is from, but we're going to find out together, and I'm being quite aggressive with with this paw thingy, but um, never put a sharp instrument in my hand. I'm just going to say that. I don't even know what this is now. I think this, jeez, I think this is $38. I know it used to be like $34. I believe it's $38. I don't know much about it. I am going to put whatever information I can find in the description box for you. I said I really, really liked them. Some of them were so good, and I was so happy to get them. But um, that gosh darn customer service thing, you know, it is a deal breaker for me a lot of times. Let's have a good laugh together, shall we? When are you from? Oh, it is a... It's a touch and soul box. Well, I can already tell you that this one probably isn't going to make me happy because I'm looking at the products because they do show you the products and give you the prices and information. And I think I have most of this. So this is definitely not thrilling. So this is probably going to go into a giveaway for the most part. Let's see if there is anything that I am remotely interested in. So the first thing we have here is the waterfall 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 not waterfall waterfall glow cream and i think i have one open in my drawer well of course you know that i can't find it because well reasons um but this is what it looks like I definitely enjoyed using it. I don't think it's a bad product. It's just not something that I need right now, considering the absurd amount of skincare that I have that I am just offloading. Not offloading. It's not. It sounds like it's a bad thing. I should say sharing, that I'm sharing a lot of it at the moment. But I think this is probably like 30-something dollars. So for those who don't have much touch and soul as far as products go, it would probably be a really nice thing to get. I'm not even going to try to figure out what month or when this is from until the end so we can really have a good hearty laugh together. The next thing I have is the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm and I think like this is a primer. I have this as well of course. I got all of these products in one of my boxes throughout the time. I'm not going to open this but I will show you mine. Here is my product. I've had it for quite a while, and I believe that I do use this as a primer. Let me see. It opens, interestingly, where what you think would be the top is the bottom, and it's, it's just unique. And let's see. I'll put it on this hand. I mean, technically, it's a moisturizer, but it does give some luminosity. According to the Leanne Dictionary, Illuminosity is a combination of luminous and illumination, therefore equaling illuminosity. I have no idea, people. You know, I'm going to put this to the front of my drawer because this feels really, really nice. And I won't have to use like a glowy thing on top of it. So again, it is a really nice product that I enjoy, but I certainly don't need another. Okay, here's something I have never received before. What a concept. What a cute little box. I love that. It's very different. And this is the Stretch X. Stretch X. Okay, Stretch Lash Effect Mascara. Never tried it. Again, absolutely love the box. And I'm going to make an assumption that it's black, but uh, I love that fluorescent yellow. I like pretty shiny things. That is cute packaging. I wish that this was as 
reflective and as neon-ish as the boxes. It's definitely different, but it's just, you know, not the same. Very, very lightweight packaging. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about it as far as what it says. I personally have naturally, no, they're not natural. I have long lashes due to my glaucoma medicine. I would love to know how it works if you don't have long lashes. The next thing is one of their classic products and is their No Pore Blem Primer right here. I of course have this as well. Mine is probably three quarters of the way done and I'm going to show you mine. Here is mine. So you can see I definitely used it a lot. I liked this in the summer because it is uh, a little moisturizing, but is still kind of like a filter is kind of what I would call it. It just does a nice job. I didn't like it in the beginning. Hold on. There we go. For some reason, and maybe it was just that particular day, it is on the silicone-y side, that slippy side, but you can see it definitely gives like a nice blur to the skin. And you can see that I like it. I should probably concentrate on just using this up so I can clear some of the products out of my drawer. <laughs> Make them for more. No, I can most definitely tell you I will not go out and purchase a primer. I have too many primers and I don't care if it says that it's going to make me look 12. I'm, I'm not going to purchase another primer. By the way, I don't even know if I mentioned at the beginning. I'm going to have to wait until I go into editing to see, but I struggled with my eye look today and it's using a new palette that I recently received, a video that you have already seen, and I have some thoughts on it. So we're going to discuss that, but I want to wait till the end in case you are just here to see this box of old stuff that I forgot to open. So the next thing is, um, oh, a no problem eye primer. This I have not tried. Okay. I'm excited about one thing <laughs> in, in the box thus far. And this looks like it has one of those spongy applicators. It says perfect eye makeup without smudging. And let's take a look at this. I struggle with eye primers because most of them make my eyes look very crepey because I'm, you know, 52 years old. So that's a pretty normal thing. It's a very soft sponge. I will give it that. A lot of people say that these are not hygienic. I don't think it's unhygienic because obviously I'm hoping that your face is clean before you're putting these things onto your face. So I disagree with that. Maybe it's absorbing too much product. Maybe it's inconvenient. They just don't like it, but I don't understand why they say unhygienic and why am I having such a problem? Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Oh, I'm starting to see something finally. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a an an opaque color. It has some opacity, but I thought for some reason it might be more because you can see how it shows up in color on the sponge. It feels very very silicone-y very smooth and it's giving the same effect I think as the no problem primer. <laughs> well that was really stupid Leanne because it's supposed to because that's the name of it. Oh I, I just like the way this feels. The sponge is super comfortable. I like that. I think it has, I don't know, kind of a makeup-y smell. I'm going to be excited to try this, I said, because I'm very hard on eye primers because for me in particular, they they just don't work the way I want them to. I mean, they work great on the young people that I've seen using it, young people. I sound like my grandmother. Okay, I have some excitement for one product that I, that I paid $38 for the box. Okay. Anyway, let's get on to the last product here. No, that's, that's not the... Oh, was that the last product? That was the last product. So, I got two products that I don't have that I'm a little excited about. And I have three products that I already have and that I'm going to be gifting. So, it's not a complete and total fail. But let's go into the card because I'm dying to see when this is from. 
Okay, so the Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream, it says this ultra hydrating moisture gel cream is instantly absorbed into the skin to calm, soothe, and minimize the signs of aging. And I do not read that language. I would have to look up the ingredients on my phone. And this puppy is $38, so that was approximately right. The Stretch X Stretch Mascara. They say it features a unique super light and elastic formula to create buildable lash length that lasts all day and takes your lashes to the extreme. Stretch Polymer gives the look of false lashes without the hassle, yet it easily washes off with warm water so it won't irritate even the most sensitive eyes. It is enriched with silk proteins to protect and promote healthy, 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 healthy. That's a new one. Someone, someone write that one down because Hathi Helpy, I don't know, it should be a, a term for something because it's that, it's that funny. I do like mascaras that wash off easily, but of course I want them to stay all along. So there has to be that perfect combination of it removing easily and not, you know, winding up all the way down my face throughout the day. This is $18.00. I don't think a bad price, unless of course it's really not a good product. The No Problem Eye Primer. Apply and let dry before applying glitter makeup, eyeshadow, or liner to get that intense color pay payoff. I don't know if this would make a good glitter primer because it completely soaked into my skin and I don't feel a very adherent base. I prefer like my NYX glitter glue. Wow, this is $22. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going to like it for goodness sakes. Okay, and of course the No Problem Primer. They say it's the original K Beauty Primer that has an airy formula. As I said, it feels so much like the eye primer. It has soluble collagen. I don't care how soluble the collagen is, the molecules are still not going to get deep enough into your skin to like do anything. Will it feel moisturizing? Absolutely. This is $18, which I don't think is a bad price at all. And then of course we have the Pretty Filter Glossy Skin Balm. They call it a two-in-one moisturizing water-based balm that calms the skin while restoring radiance and delivering a hydrating priming finish to enhance makeup application. I think in the summertime, this works well enough for me to even wear this alone if I don't have time for my other skincare, but I don't know about just using this in the wintertime for me with drier skin types. Type. I only have one type of... You know what I mean. They are suggesting that you can use this all by itself, so maybe if you have oily skin, this might work on its own. And this little guy is also $22. It doesn't say a month. But you guys, I know how awesome and amazing you are, so you'll probably be able to tell me when this box was from. Oh, by the way, it looks like I need new glasses because the Glassy Skin Balm is 32, not 22. Let me see if all of the other ones were correct. Yeah, I think they are. I just can't read threes, apparently. So it appears that the entire box is worth $128, which you're paying $38 for. Again, there are no fillers in here. It is a one brand thing. So you know that the prices are real and correct. And as I said, I've tried a lot of the products and I do enjoy them. So again, for me, it wasn't a very good thing for me to get the box because I already had them. But if you've never tried it, I think it's a very nice variety of products to get and try and really see if you love. If you got the box, I would I would love to know what you think and now let's let's all have that collective laugh together. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad actually. I'm impressed. For a minute. And if you want to just check out here, thank you for stopping by. I love you. You're amazingly wonderful. But let's talk about what's on my eyes today. And I normally don't struggle with my eye looks. I can do them fairly simply. I don't do anything overly artistic or complicated because I don't have the patience, don't have the time, and just don't have the energy for it. Uh, you guys saw this. I got this in my Melt Mystery Box. This was originally like $58 and I paid $12.50 for it. For $12.50, I guess I'm not mad at it. I did not use the entire palette. Let me tell you what I did use, and let me just tell you quickly what I thought. 
I think the color story is beautiful. It's one that I enjoy tremendously. I can get um, some smoky looks over here. I love this color. It's kind of like this gray with the silver. Very, very pretty. And then these are always my colors. There's a lot of kick up and powderiness in the pan. That doesn't always necessarily bother me. I did get a lot of fallout. This color here, which is called Flamingo Dream, this is so far the only color of the ones that I've tried in the palette that I like. That's what I put basically all over and up um, above my crease to give it a little bit of um, oomph. This I applied first and this is called Pink Leather, which is there. I applied that first as a base all the way up to almost my brow bone. And it made, now I didn't use eye primer because I wanted to see how it worked with eye, out eye primer since I struggled with it so much. And I have to say that it kind of made my eyes look a little bit creepy and textured. This one is a very, very strange one. It's called Ruby Star and it's extremely powdery. Now, I had tried this, first of all, for a metallic to be that extremely powdery means you're going to get a ton of fallout no matter what you do. Now, you can see how it applied there, but it didn't apply that way onto my eye. It looked thick and textured. It did not pick up well with a brush. When I wet my brush, it kind of stuck there, and then I had like, it looked like plaques, like layers of the shadow on my eye. Yet, on my hand, it was the one metallic shade that I thought was on the impressive side, but not in practical application. That's why swatches are not always the best. This one was lackluster. It, I put it on my eyes and was like, but, but where is it? It's called Mixed Emotions, and yeah, I have, I have tons of Mixed Emotions about that. Again, it swatched fairly well, but it just didn't have any impact on my eyes. Neither did this rose brunch. And normally when I run my finger across like a metallic, it shouldn't like ball up. I, I don't know, it's very strange. And you can see that one has barely any impact at all. And then I used this white one. This one looked nice. I only used it very temporarily. Temporarily? Sparingly, where did that word come from? It's uh, like a duo chromatic color and I just put that on my inner corner so I don't have much to say. As you can see, I used quite a bit. Also, I did use this um, Modern Lux. I tried to use a bunch and this one I was hoping to add some depth to my crease and it did absolutely nothing. I'm going to go over it further in another video, but I just want to let you know that this eye look, which I'm not even really, really happy with because I also tried the black as well, it was a struggle. I was on a struggle bus and today was not a good day for me to be on a struggle bus because I had things to do, places to be and people to see. So um, I would love to know your thoughts. I know when I opened it, a lot of you had some thoughts about it, but my curiosity is even more piqued to hear other people's reactions. I'll play with it some more, and then when I do my, you know, favorites and fails or whatever, I still don't know what to call my video of that. I go back and forth. I change it all the time. But anyway, once again, I want to thank you guys so much. You are all amazingly wonderful people. I'm so grateful for the time that you spend with me, that, that you take time out of your day and you watch my videos. It really, really does mean everything to me. Let me know your thoughts on everything if you so desire. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you have an amazing day or an amazing night, depending upon when you're watching this. And I'll see you really soon in my next one. Much love, everybody. Bye.